Rangers are making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. It looks like they could be making a few million dollar moves. But I tell you what, man, the Rangers have been very busy. Link with a lot of players, bids coming in thick and fast. The only thing is, it looks like this deal going through pretty much confirms that all, like, what the other deal ain't exactly happening, which Ramani, Rahamani looks like he is on his way to one of the Prague teams, which is a bit, is a, bit of a shame because... Um, no, I don't know if it was necessarily like you know the the, the numero uno target, but no offence to this guy, Big Hamza Agamani, I would rather the other guy. But we will look at his stats, of course, um, and I tell you right here, right freaking now. So for as far, tell you what, why is this Wikipedia page and completely? Well, I don't even know what language that is. I think it's in Moroccan. Arabic. You know, not exactly ideal for me to have a wee cheeky read there, but it looks like 2 million and it's going to be accepted now. In, over in the league, the, the Batola Pro Anoa, Anoa, 2023-24, he did make 20 appearances, he got 7 goals and 6 assists. I mean, not too bad. His current market value Sits at around 450,000. His contract doesn't run it for another two years. And it looks like 2 million is going to be enough for Rangers to bring this guy in. I say it, it looks like 2 million is enough. I mean, it's a bit weird because at the end of the day, the guy's value is sitting at 450k, but when it's sitting that low, I mean, going up to like 2 million, it's not the, the biggest shock. As I've said, I mean, the stats for last season aren't exactly horrendous, you know, seven goals, six assists in 20 games. But what you've got to say is that you've got to question the fact the league at 10, you know. I believe he's got a 12% shot conversion rate, which isn't exactly, you know, great Rangers probably need someone better. But here, it, could it be a potential winger? Aye, that's pretty much it. Now, other news for Rangers that's not exactly ideal is that Rangers might have to wait until the end of pre-season if they are to bring 22-year-old Abdullah Seema back to Ibrox after last season's um, loan as Brighton and Hove Albion want to give their new manager time to assess his squad. So, again, they want to give him time. He, want, he wants to have time with his players, see who he can keep, etc., etc. So unless we are going to come in with like £7 million, I just don't really see, like actual money instead of another loan bid. I don't really see how that is going to go down. Also for Rangers, according to Footballing Insider, that it says Lauren Shanklin remains an option for Rangers as they really look to bolster their attack and Hartsman Lowen would struggle to turn down a really big offer with a 28 year old Scotland striker. Happy to make the move should the clubs agree a fee. Yeah, Shanklin, I think he was shafted. Not to start that game, I'm being brutally honest, against the Germans. But then absolutely shafted by Porteous because that just fucked the game. And, you know, he got like 10 minutes. But that's where we're going to leave this video, guys. That's your Rangers update. We'll see if any more comes for this. I'll tell you what, man, I was watching that Denmark game. And I just fell asleep. Absolutely just passed it. Woke up. Bloody knackered. Woke up knackered. Anyway, I guess I could sign in. Leave your thoughts down below.